Well, hi there. This is John Tang, and I'm with Armando Garate, and he's working. He's working on the baseboards here in our home. I wanted to start off by saying that this whole section that he is working on, that's on the staircase, that portion, that didn't even exist before. He he basically created a baseboard that looked exactly like the existing, which is over here to the right, and then he had to cut out a section that matched the slope, the rise and the run of the staircase. Now, if you know in construction, nothing is exactly 90 degrees. So to put this baseboard in after the stairs had already been installed meant that he had to very, very meticulously measure each of those rises and, and runs to make sure that it fit exactly into the side on both sides and then all the staircases through the house. And when this whole thing's done, I mean, absolutely amazing. And what I want to talk to you about today is show you the artistry of Armando, of how he is creating this special, special look throughout the house. What's what's going on right here? See, well, first the first stone is to hit. The first step is to to hit the corners. You don't have a lot of you know uh, bleeding on the on the in the stone. Bleeding. That we have underneath underneath this paper. Not even in the walls either. We got some finished, seepage. Yeah, seepage. We got some finished walls. You hit all the corners. You don't put a lot of stain. Just a little bit, just enough to cover the edges. Then we go with the smaller rag, the regular towel here. Don't put a lot of stain on it. You can't control it. It's more of just like a damp towel. It's a damp towel. Not a very sophisticated tool yet, but this is just kind of the base. Correct. Then, uh, if you put too much, you can always cut it down a little bit with the normal towel, which is this one here. If you go to the limit, this towel has a different texture than the first one that you used? Correct. Now we gotta go with the rough towel here. You can see the grooves in there. Yeah, it's more rough. In there. Mm -hmm. Kind of ribbed. Correct. Then uh, you apply that into the board. On the board. Creating kind of, kind of a grain look? Correct. You can see that it's very, very easy, but it takes a lot of time. You don't want to go across the grain. You have to go create your own board. Imagine that you're going to create a board here. A wood board, a real a wood, wood board. board. Correct. We let it sit for a little bit, 30 seconds or something. You wipe your finished brush. It could be a, just any regular brush here, an expensive brush here. Mm -hmm. Hit it on the on the side, in the corners, along with the grain of along with this board, to make it look like it's all one piece. Especially the corners. I see a lot of videos where the people they do the staining, and all the corners are really, really dark. You have to take out the pigment out in the corners. If I'm not, if I'm correct, when looking at all the tools that you're working with here, you've got three different rags and four different brushes. That's correct. So you basically put a base coat on there, and then there's another seven more processes. That's correct. Then uh, the second one will be the rough one again. After you got all the streaks. The grain looking type of thing. You soak it a little bit, a little bit more of the stain than, than the regular, than the second step. You hit it here and there. To make it look like a, like a long, not small ones and medium ones. All the way along down to the board. Randomly. 
randomly here and there. Take this stain away. It will be messy if you spill this stain here. Make it warm. Like, a, like an animal crow here, pretty much. Because it's like a nut. Yeah. Make a thinner one. You're giving it life. You're giving the MDF board. That's right. Breathing life into it. It looks it looks amazing. Make medium, medium shadows here and there. Mediums and browns, dark ones. Not a lot. If we put a lot, it's gonna turn looking so fake. Randomly here and there. And this is about it. And after that, you go with another small angle brush here. You can see that. Go cover this nut here like a flame because now we got soft brown, medium brown, light brown, medium brown, and dark brown at the end. It's 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 art, it's like a canvas. You're like working off of a, you're like an artist working off a, off a canvas. Then after this that, is a baseboard, you finish that, wipe it so smoothly. How about that? That's gorgeous. Isn't that nice? One of a kind. One of a kind. Put, go with the lower one. Tip one in here. Really tiny. Again. Here, just, just touch it. Just rub it a little bit. You see that? Beautiful. Second one in here, same thing. This really takes patience, and I know you made the comment yeah. earlier that if you don't really love the art behind this. Don't be involved. There's no running and gunning happening here. This is really a special, special treatment. Armando, as people are watching this, they're appreciating the artistry. They want something unique, something special. How do they reach out to you Did to you? contact you for maybe advice or maybe even to bring you in to look at a project? Yes, they can go to my email. Garates Interiors at gmail.com. G A R A T E S Interiors at gmail.com. Correct. Thank you, Armando. You're welcome.